we have some news coming from the Patriots um, where they are terminating the contract of longtime Patriots receiver Julian Elderman. And so he failed his physical. He's been dealing with some knee injuries. Um, really, the last couple of seasons, he's been very injured, to say the least. Um, but ever since he's been in the league, he's been with the Patriots. He came over. Um, he was drafted in the seventh round out of Kent State, where he actually played quarterback. Um, and the Patriots converted him to a right receiver. Now, when he first came into the league, it was an interesting time because the Patriots had Wes Wilker as their primary um, weapon at that time, and they had a similar skill set. But at that time, you know, Wes Wilker was the man, but Julian had similar skill sets. So the Patriots, he got to learn from one of the greatest receivers to play for the Patriots over the last couple of decades. And um, there, once he had his opportunity, he came in and it was almost as if the Patriots did not miss a beat between transferring over from having Wes Welker as the primary receiver to having Julian Elderman. He stayed um, loyal to the Patriots, especially during their time with Tom Brady. And then last year, you know, he tried to be the, the man while um, Cam was quarterbacking um, for the Patriots last season in his first season. But obviously, Julian, you know, he had his sh fair share of injuries, but this does not take away from the type of career that he had with the Patriots, um, as it was a very productive one. Um, he first his first year was in twenty uh, two thousand and nine. I'm sorry, two thousand and nine, in which he got to start seven games that year, and he had um, a little less than forty receptions and um, about three hundred sixty yards receiving. Um, and it would not be until twenty thirteen where he essentially became the Patriots' primary weapon, and it was a major leap. He went from having twenty one receptions in 2012 to having 105 receptions in 2013. Cause at that time, that was around the time where Wes Welker, I believe he went to Denver to, to team up with um, Peyton Manning and company. And so Wes, um, Julian Elliman became the man and he was the man ever since. Um, he had four, three seasons in which he crossed a thousand yards receiving, um, two seasons in which he had over a hundred receptions. One season he came really close. He had like, um, 98 receptions that year. So super productive guy, very likable. Um, he also contributed in special teams as well. And I mean, the writing was pretty much on the wall. He's going to be, I believe, 36. So he is definitely aging that receiver. And without um, Tom Brady, the, the, the Patriots definitely aren't going to be running the same offense that they ran when he was, you know, primarily used throughout the slot. Um, and so this year, Patriots had to make a decision, either keep him or let him go because he's still going to be injured throughout the season. And so they opted to let him go. And so now everybody is pretty much going to be speculating from here on out, especially since Tampa Bay has not signed Antonio Brown yet. Will Julian Elderman get the call instead to go to Tampa Bay? I mean, obviously they have the very close connection when Brady and, um, and Julian Elderman was on the same team with the Patriots, super close, you know, and obviously the fact that Elderman played um, quarterback at college, that had a lot to do with them just being able to read each other's minds, being on the same page, being able to see it from a quarterback's perspective and vice versa, just having that pure understanding and that chemistry. I'm sure he's going to be lobbying for the Buccaneers to bring him in as well at receiver. So, I mean, it, it would definitely make sense for him to go there. I mean, now that he's, you know, essentially a free agent, We'll see if that's the route that he takes, um, but that's where I'm thinking he'll go. But we'll see how that goes from him. But for right now, he needs to definitely focus on getting healthy moving forward. That's going to be a priority. Um, and he has a lot to think about. How much more football does he really have left in the tank? Because he's the kind of receiver where he, he loves physical contact. That is very obvious. So we'll see if, he's able, if he has to adjust this game. Is he still going to be that guy that can go out there and play majority of the snaps, or will they have to limit his minutes? Will he be limited to how much of the season can he actually play? There's a lot of questions surrounding Julian Elderman at this point of his career, but one thing that's not in question is that he is definitely one of the more iconic Patriots throughout Patriot history. Um, he meant so much to the organization, and so just seeing him go, I mean, that's almost like the second extension of, you know, one of Brady guys being gone as well. So he had a tremendous career with the Patriots, and we'll see what's in store for him moving forward. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And as always, as more news continues to happen, you can be sure to find it here. Thank you again for joining and have a great day.